Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. My dear students, welcome again to your English language reading. Uh, for today, this is our third class, and I'm so glad to meet you again. Um, our class today is going to be reading passages and practice. We're going to do some exercises how to get meaning from the context, how to get meaning of words from context, how to identify the main idea, and um, also we're going to test our uh, understanding of pronoun reference and uh, uh, understanding some words and some phrases, and at the end we will have a list of vocabularies and um, I want you to understand the meanings of vocabularies and these are vocabularies and um, to use them okay so uh, our exercises are based on your textbook interaction 2 chapter 1 okay so for here this is uh, one of the uh, passages that you have in your textbook Campus life is changing. It's chapter one. Uh, we have here a list of uh, uh, three questions. Uh, the first question, what is the topic and what is the main idea? And then we have a third question, according to the passage, how today students are different from tra traditional students. Okay, let us first answer the first question. What is the topic? Okay. First of all, let us read. For many years in the United States, most undergraduate students in their first four years of college were 18 to 20 years old. They attended college full time, lived in a dormitory on campus, and expected many extras from their colleges, not just classes. But things began to change in the 1970s and are very different from now. Today, students are the majority, they are different. Uh, they are different from traditional undergraduates in several ways. They are different in several ways. They are older. Many attend college part-time because they have families and jobs. Most live off campus, not in dormitories. These traditional students do not want the extras that colleges usually offer. So these non-traditional students do not want the extras that colleges usually offer. They actually are not interested in the sports, entertainment, religious groups, and museums that are part of most U.S. colleges. They want mainly good quality classes day or night at low cost. They also hope for easy parking, access to information technology, and polite service. Both time and money are important to them. So right here uh, we are talking about the non-traditional okay when I say non-traditional it means the opposite of a traditional students so what is the topic of this passage well generally speaking the topic you can find it actually um, in the first part of the paragraph for example so you need to look at um, you know you need to look at the beginning of the passage of the paragraph. So the beginning was, for many years in the United States, most undergraduate students were 18 to uh, 20 years old. They attended college full time, lived in a dormitory on campus, and expected many extras from their colleges, not just classes. But things began to change in the 1970s and very different now okay so we are talking about the traditional so when you tr when you when you are when someone asks you about the topic you want to see the repetitive words repetitive words like traditional students okay so we have undergraduate students traditional students non-traditional students and uh, here we have non-traditional students um, again, we have some also some pronouns like they. These are refer uh, uh, these pronouns refers to traditional or non-traditional. So basically, we're talking about undergraduate. So uh, sorry, the difference. Between a traditional. and 
untraditional or non traditional students okay so we're talking about the difference between traditional and non-traditional students so uh, this is how how ca how can we get the topic of the sentence we just look at the repetitive uh, the repetitive nouns or the repetitive uh, phrases so how many times the students mentioned one here and then we have traditional students and we have college students we have non-traditional students so we are talking about two parts of the students traditional and non-traditional what is the main idea of this passage the main idea again you can find it in the second part of the uh, on the first uh, at the beginning of the paragraph the first or the second or the third paragraph let us read just the first without reading the whole passage we just read the first second or third paragraph if it's not in clear if you can get the main idea from the first line you should read the second and the third until it's clear okay let us read again for many years in the United States most undergraduate students in their first four years of colleges were 18 to 20 years of all years old they attend college full-time, live in a dormitory in campus, and expected many extras from their colleges, not just the classes. But things began to change. Things began to change in 1990s. This is actually one of the signs to indicate that here is the author's point of view. Here is the uh, point of view of this passage. So things began to change and are very different now. Today, these traditional students are less than one quarter of all college students. These days, the traditional... Uh, so here, here is the, 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 uh, the turn of this... Uh, the turn of this passage. So it is start talking about the opposite idea. Okay? So things began to change in 1970s and are very, diff very different now. Today, these traditional students are less than one quarter of all college students. So this is, so this is one of the main ideas, okay? The main idea of the passage, okay? That the number of these traditional students are less than uh, one quarter, uh, are less than one quarter of all college students. Okay, according to the passage, so here is the main idea. We found it at the beginning of the paragraph. Number two, number three, according to the passage, how today students are different from traditional students? How are they different from traditional students? So, first of all, you have now here th four options. Non-traditional students are the minority. Non-traditional students are not working these days and non-traditional students live on campus and number four non-traditional students are the majority and part-timer well if you look at the first um, the first option non-traditional students are the minority well this is not true because okay because in this sentence, it shows that these days, the non-traditional students are the majority. Okay, so number one is incorrect. Number one is incorrect. Okay, number two. Non-traditional students are not working these days. Are not working these days. Well, they're d now you just keep reading. They are different from their uh, uh, in several ways. They are older. Many attend college part-time because they have families and jobs. When I say part-time, they uh, and they also work. Because they work, okay? So they have a job for their families. So the second one is incorrect because traditional non-traditional students have a job because they have family okay so here is the here is one you can as you can see when you look at the options the first option we have the minority 
and the opposite of it is the majority. If you look at the second choice, we have working, we have job. So we have kind of synonyms. Kalimat have the same meanings but different letters, okay? They have different letters and sounds but have the same meaning. Working and job, they are almost the same. The third choice, non-traditional students live on campus. Okay, so we have Lynn on campus. You just go and do scanning. You know, remember the scanning? We're looking for specific information, specific details. Live on campus. Where do we find live on campus? Right here. Live off campus. So this answer is incorrect because the opposite of this actually is live on campus. The opposite, al naqid ilha, live off campus, which means students live outside the university, not inside the university. So they live outside. Outside the university, live outside the university means live off campus. So this answer, this selection is incorrect. The fourth one, non-traditional students are majority and part-time. And that's true because we have the majority right here and they are also part-timer as you can find it just below it. So number four is correct. As you can see, when, you, when I look at these, um, these options, the first one, the second, and third, and the fourth, I need to find some clue words. Okay, some clue words, and then do scanning because we're looking for a specific details, specific information. While in the second question, I've read the first, the second, and the third sentence to get the main idea. Do you understand? I hope so. Okay, let us move on. Words and phrases, as you read, it's important to begin noticing words that often go together. Some words, they go together. Go back to a paragraph, paragraph number eight, just the previous one. Find words to complete the following phrases and write them in the blanks more, and most of these actually prepositions. Prepositions, manata huruf jar. Okay, if we go back, lived in a campus. They lived in a dormitory on campus. So we have on or off. Off campus, so lived in. On campus, off campus. The opposite is off campus. So I want you to know the, these phrases or these words that come in phrases together. Okay? So lived in. I live in KSA. I live on campus. I live off campus. So these actually prepositions and verbs or words, they come together. So m please memorize them. This is important. Many college part-time. If we go back, we will find right here It's right here. We have many attend college part-time. Many attend. What does many attend? Right here. Attend means يلتحق, to attend college part-time. So this is verb. Okay, attend is a verb. And then we have access information technology. Let's go back. Okay, so if you look at the last sentence, access to information technology. Access to information technology. So please do memorize them. Memorize means تذكروهم and how you use them. Okay? Okay, let's move on. Understanding pronoun reference. In the last passage, we have some uh, pronouns that refer to some nouns. Do you know the rules of a pronoun reference? Did you, uh, uh, have you done all the exercises I, I gave you in the, in the first two lectures? 
please do all the pronoun references. Remember the rules, okay? Look back now at the reading selection, Campus Life is Changing, to find the meanings of the following pronouns. What does each pronoun refer to? So this is a very common question. You will face these questions in your final exam. For example, they, paragraph A, line 2. Let's go back and see the pronoun they right here. So it is in line 2. Let us first clean all of this. Yeah, let me erase them. And here, they attended. Right here, this is a pronoun. So the question is, um, it refers to what? Refers to what? Let's go back and see how we have here years. It's a plural. You know, they refers to plural nouns. And we have here students and the United States. They refers to students. Students attend students attend college full time. Okay, so the answer is the students. So the answer here is students. Okay, they and paragraph A line six. Let's go back. So we here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, right here. They have families and jobs. Who are they? Who are they? Both of them refer to students again. And the last one right here, them paragraph is just the same. Them paragraph A line twelve. If we go back and just count 9, 12, 6, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, we have, actually it's number 10. Important to them. Again, it is also refers to both time and money are important to non-traditional students. To non-traditional, non-traditional students. Let me uh, remind you of the following. In your final exam, some of the passages are seen and some of the passages are unseen. When I say passages are seen, I may bring the same, I may, Munkin, I probably uh, uh, bring some of these passages to your final exam. Okay, so please read them again and again. And some of them outside of your textbooks, but they are alike. Okay, asking you in these passages about uh, what is the main idea, what is the topic, the pronoun references, and how to get the meaning uh, uh, from the context. All these skills, you need to master them. You need to do a lot of exercises on these skills to master them. Okay, here we have another paragraph B. Let us read it together. Psychological texts reflect different learning styles in this new student population too. Each person has a certain learning style and about 60% of the new students these days prefer the sensing style. This means that they are very practical. They prefer a practice to theory method of learning, which is experience first and ideas after that. Okay, they often have difficulty with reading and writing and are unsure of themselves. Most of these students are attending college because they want to have a good job and make a lot of money. Okay, what is the topic of this paragraph? Again, we are talking about the psychological test on and uh, 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 that reflect learning styles in this new student population. So we are talking about learning so we have we're talking about learning styles in in, in students in students population so we're talking about learning styles learning styles uh, learning styles in students Population. As you can see, we can identify the topic from the first or the second line. So, what is the main idea? 
what it says that uh, um, uh, like each person has a certain learning style this is the main idea each person we look at the beginning each person has a certain learning style and about 60% of the new students these days prefer the sensing style so this is the main idea this is the passage point of view okay right here in the green so here is the main idea interesting so number one number two and here is number three according to the passage what do 60% of the new students prefer these days? They prefer either they prefer practice to theory method of learning or they prefer theory to practice theory method of learning. Now, just we look at the structure. Here is the key words, the most important words. And we do scanning now. We look back to the passage and just move our eyes quickly. Let us do it. Right here, they prefer practice to theory method of learning. So the answer is A, practice to theory method of learning. I need to practice just like we do. We do practice exercises and then we understand the theory method. Okay, we understand the idea through exercises. The traditional students, they were just receiving information without practicing, without doing exercises. So this is a traditional way. However, the non-traditional way is as the following. You do exercises like this one, and then you understand the idea. Okay, so let us move on. Here is paragraph C. In contrast, other students, but not as many, prefer the intuitive learning style. So we have now two styles, the sensing style and intuitive lear learning style. These students love ideas. They love ideas. They prefer a theory to practice method of learning and enjoy independent creative thinking. These intuitive are not very practical. They are attending college because they want to create unique works of art or study philosophy or someday help in the field of science. So as you can see here in paragraph C, we have the opposite idea. In paragraph B, people prefer practice to theory method. Now here the opposite. Here people prefer some students prefer a theory to practice method. So if I ask you now, what is the relationship or how is the paragraph B related to paragraph C? We have the contrast here. Do you, do you remember the contrast idea in Naqir? So we have one point of view and we have the opposite. What is the topic here? The topic here is talking about the intuitive learning. Intuitive learning style. It's talking about intuitive learning style. What is the main idea? The main idea is that students love, they prefer theory to practice method of learning and enjoy independent and creative thinking. Okay, this is the main idea that students prefer ideas. The whole, the whole three, three lines will give you the overall um, uh, idea about the passage. Paragraph D. In here there is a, there, here is the complement, uh, the, com the completion of the whole passage. There is a drawback for the students who prefer the sensing style of learning. A majority of college professors prefer the intuitive learning style. These teachers value independent thinking and creative ideas. 
students in the sensing group are at a disadvantage because their way of thinking does not match their teachers. So in paragraph D here, we have the professor's point of view. So what is the topic? Professor's point of view of sensing style of learning. So here is the professor's. So we have, we, we have here something about the sensing style of learning. This is a topic. The main idea is a majority of college professors prefer the intuitive learning style. Again, you can find the topic in the first line, or not always, but almost, and then you can find or identify the main idea in the first or the second. If you can't find it in the first, you should find it in the second to make, it, to make sure. You should be sure about the main idea. Okay, here we have the other section now, words and phrases. Words and phrases. We have are a disadvantage. Are at a disadvantage. Aidan had him in phrases that you need to memorize. You need to memorize. And just go to this line. Students the in the sensing group are at a disadvantage are at a disadvantage so just try to use it in another context and here we have our sending pronoun reference pronoun there okay where is there their way of thinking right here let us use the red one their way of thinking okay who are they there let us go back. Students in the sensing group are at a disadvantage because their way of thinking, because their refers to students. So here we're talking about students. Hopefully that you keep just, you know, uh, go back and forth to understand what I'm doing okay we're doing some exercises regarding all the theories all these strategies all the skills that we have taken in the first and the second class well basically the first one in this one let us read together and try to identify the topic and the main idea let us go on first of all in all college campuses Student life is very different from what it used to be because of technology, specifically the Internet. At most colleges, all entering first-year students receive an email address, just like you, if you are a first-year uh, first student. Dormitory rooms after high-speed Internet access. Dormitory rooms offer high-speed internet access. Computer systems are available to everyone in computer labs, the library and student centers. Application for classes and registrations are usually now possible online. Most schools offer entire courses online. Many professors still have office hours when the students can come to talk with them about classwork or ask for help. But increasingly, students can contact professors 24 hours a day thanks to email. In many classes, students complete assignments and even take exams online. Perhaps most important for both students and professors, research is now easier and faster because of the new technology. Again, what is the topic of this passage. So here we are talking about the internet in the college campuses, in the student's life, okay? The internet or technology in the student's life. You can, you can find, you, you can, or, or the internet or online, you can find words. How to identify the topic? You need to see the repetitive words. What do you mean by repetitive? that those words that are mentioned again and again, more than one or three times. Technology, the internet, 
email address, internet access or high-speed internet access, computer systems, and we have computer labs, we have world like online, we have cor like here we have online also, mm, email, exam online, so all of these and here the new technology, all of these words online technology, computer systems, internet, exams online, new technology, emails, all of these can be categorized under the umbrella of technology. So how many times they are mentioned? Two, like uh, around six times or more. So we are talking about technology. in a student's life. So technology in a student's life. Technology in a student's life. Okay, what is the main idea of the whole passage? Okay, how can we identify the main idea? We look back to the first or the second. On all colleges campuses, in college campuses, student life is different from what it used to be because of technology, specifically the internet. All entering receive an email. Ad. So we're talking about here the main idea, the, uh, the the importance of technology, specifically the internet in colleges campuses. Just the first line actually indicates the main idea. So uh, in the past students were very traditional. They don't use technology. But nowadays, they do use technology and the internet. Okay, and a recending pronoun reference. Well, we have the pronoun them. And it is in line six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right here. When, let us read from the first sentence. Many professors still have office hours when the students can come to talk with them. Students talk with them, with the professors. So them refers to professors. Students can come to talk with them. Talk with whom? With their professors. Okay. Word and phrases. Again, we have some words in this passage that I want you to understand. Life is different because of, because of technology because of technology. Internet are, or all technology are available to everyone. Available to everyone. Students exams. Well, let us go back and see how, how can we find students and exams. So let us look first to the uh, word like exams. Where do we have it? Okay, so take exams. Students complete assignments and even take. Take exams. This is a verb, right? Take. So please do memorize all of these uh, words and uh, phrases. Here let us move to section B, directions. We need to read the following paragraphs and choose the correct main idea for each paragraph. Here, these are very short ones. These are very, uh, uh, there are very several events that can change the air surface very quickly. Volcanoes can erupt and spread lava, rock, and ash of several miles. Earthquakes can leave large cracks in the air surface. What is the main idea? What is the main idea? Several events can change the air surface. Earthquake can cause large cracks. Volcanoes can be dangerous or earthquakes. So where to find the main idea? The main idea that several events can change the air surface. You can find it in the first line right here. 
Let us move on. Most of the world's volcanoes are part of the ring of fire. This is a ring of volcanoes that form a circle around the Pacific Ocean. Thousands of volcanoes make up the ring of fire. These volcanoes form the sea floor and many underwater mountains. What is the main idea? There are thousands of volcanoes in the world. Most volcanoes are part of the ring of uh, the, the, uh, of the ring of fire. Some underwater mountains are volcanoes, the ring of fire. So we're talking most of the world's volcanoes are part of the ring of fire. Okay, so we're talking, so here is the main idea. We're talking about the, that most of the, uh, the volcanoes are part of the ring of fire. So you can identify the main idea in the first or the second line. Okay, so in, in this one, we, ha we are now moving to other section, getting meeting, meaning, actually, it's not meeting, getting meaning from context. Okay, so uh, right here on the, uh, I have sold one of them. One of the, uh, on the, uh, in the one hand, there are many advantages to this system. On the other hand, there are also several drawbacks. On the other hand, from one point of view, on the other hand, from so on the other hand and on the one hand, on the one hand, from one point of view, from the uh, so uh, on the here right here one. On the other hand, it means from another point of a view. Okay, in a number of countries, education, both compulsory, required and universal, available to everyone, at least in primary school, elementary school. So, what does compulsory mean? Where, where is it? Here, here is, right here. There is a sign. Shuhi is sign hakin anha, in the Hegel punctuation. Shumana compulsory, required. How to give the meaning from context by the, uh, using the punctuation. Universal. What does universal mean? Universal. It's right here. Universal means, we have a comma, available to everyone. So, the words between two commas identify or give a meaning to universal. So, it means available to everyone. A primary school, it means elementary school because also it comes between two parentheses. You know, uh, hopefully that you know what I'm talking about. There are many more schools in cities than in rural areas. Okay, so rural, what does it mean? It is against rural, huh? cities than a rural. Here kind of comparison. We have kind of muqarana between cities and rural areas. Shumana rural areas then, shumana, huh? what does it mean? It is the opposite of cities. So do it. Public schools are all both a free and egalitarian. Are uh, all students are considered equal and learn the same material? What does egalitarian mean? Here, here it is. We have a punctuation identify in this passage the meaning of egalitarian. So egalitarian means all the students are considered equal and learn the same material. Uh, Here we have another one. College students need a great discipline in order to make time for their studies. They need the self-control to give up hobbies, sports, and social life. So here it's asking us to, um, to define the word, to get the meaning of the word discipline. Where is discipline? Discipline is right here. And Nahona comma. Oh, uh, um, pause column. Uh, Discipline, it means in order to make time for their studies. This is what does it mean. Okay? They need the self-control. They need the self-control. Again, this is also the exact meaning for discipline. Self-control. So, in order to make time for their studies, they need self-control. They need discipline. So self-control means, discipline means self-control. Okay, number six. Results on these exams affect the entire family because there is high status or social position for a whole family in which children have high test scores. What does entire mean? Where is it? 
entire family. Okay, for a see, this is one phrase, come together, and we have for a whole family. So entire means whole. It's just the same. Okay, status. Where is the status? Entire family because there is a high status. Status. What is status? It means social position. Social position. هذه معنى high status. Social position. مكانة اجتماعية. The last one, students themselves decide if they want college preparatory or vocational classes in high school. No national exam determines this for them. What does determines mean? Students themselves decide if they want to college preparatory or vocational classes in high schools. No national exam determines. Determines means decide. So it has the same meaning. Uh, okay, for today we have covered so many exercises uh, and we have applied all the reading strategies that we have learned in the first class and these examples are actually um, uh, quoted from your textbook, Interaction 2. And I have covered most, not all of them, but most of the important exercises. Please do it again and um, just contact me through email uh, or the blackboard to see if you have any problem. Thank you so much for uh, listening. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.